What's going on, everybody? You are tuned in to The Hot List. I come to y'all Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and we talk about real estate topics or concerns. And I do this in a segment called The Question of the Day. The Question of the Day is submitted by a listener of the podcast, sometimes current or previous clients, and in certain episodes like today, from my own family. So if you have a question about real estate, you're not sure where to start, I'm happy to be the real estate resource that you use, you reach out to when these questions come up. All you gotta do is shoot me a message. I will not only answer that question for you, I will use it for future videos just like this one because if you have that question, the chance that somebody else has that question is extremely strong and I want to make sure that I am able to not just answer yours answer the question for them and help them to you know kind of find a path to dive a little bit deeper into the right direction that they need to go and whether you are watching this on Facebook YouTube all you have to do is shoot me a message through however you're listening to this, or you can drop it in the comments on the podcast player that you're listening to this on. I, It'll get to me, and again, I will answer that for you and then use it for future videos like this one. So today's question of the day, what causes ice inside windows? Now, this is a question I was not expecting um, it actually came from my my youngest child. Oddly enough, about when a window in our house. Yeah, I didn't realize that was happening either. And at the time, he asked me the question uh, because he's twelve. You know, kids don't elaborate or explain. You know what triggered this. I just I just chalked it up. It wasn't until I asked him a couple days later, you know, what was it? Why'd you ask me that question? What, what brought that up? And his response was simple. The there's ice and frost on the window in the bathroom upstairs. Well, I don't go up there that often. Those of you that know, you know, it's upstairs. If there's stairs, I'm more often than not, I'm, I'm out just with bad knees. It's not something I, I do on a regular basis. So this got, got me thinking and inspecting the window um, and doing some research as well. Because, you know, <clears throat> as most of us know, when the temperatures drop, it's not uncommon to see ice and snow outside. Uh, again, this is obviously depending on where you live. You might even see frost on the outside of windows or storm doors. That's pretty common. You know, we... We get that here. It's pretty common. Occasionally, however, you might notice ice building up on the inside. And this can be easy to overlook. Uh, I've done it before. And just disregard it as, you know, cold temperatures. And could be chalked up to cold temperatures out, outside or, you know, what whatever else might run through your head. Speaking from experience, I can promise you this is a mistake and you need to pay attention and do some take some action. When ice starts appearing on the inside of windows, there's it's typically a sign of something wrong in or around the window itself. At best, it may just drive up your heating cost in the winter. Worst case scenario, which is more, the more likely scenario, is could be some type of leak or other damage to the glass or the window frame, which could then lead to expensive repairs in the future. And I mean, that's obviously not something that you or any any homeowner wants. So if you or somebody in your household has noticed ice start to build up on the inside of your windows, there 
are some actions to take and in doing that we are going to talk about three causes of ice forming inside your windows number one is the ice inside the windows itself like i'm like i kind of prefaced with this a little bit when ice appears on the inside of your window it's usually a sign that moisture is condensing on the glass and then freezing as a result of cold air making it through that window barrier <clears throat> and this could happen a a few different ways uh, generally what happens is there is some type of crack or gap in the window frame or glass itself and the cold air uh, just cools down that that window glass and makes it cold enough for water in the air to condense and then freeze on the glass surface. So not only is this problematic if air is leaking in as a result of cracks in the glass or the window frame, but ice can build up in the, the crack on the frame or window itself as ice expands the crack widens and over multiple freezes over the course of winter which generally happens it may cause even more damage or more severe damage resulting in larger cracks or additional leaks by springtime and Number two, we're going to get into the root cause because there's different ways to treat problems caused by ice appearing in the windows. If there's no signs of damage on or around the, the window itself, could possibly be icy buildup as a result of higher humidity in the house. And windows themselves are not sufficient to keep cold air out uh, and a lot of times this can be treatable if you just put a dehumidifier in or near near that room this is going to reduce the home's humidity level or uh, other option that a lot of people do is use exhaust fans to circulate humid air out of the home these are especially common in bathrooms because when you take a shower doesn't matter what time of year hotter shower more moisture more steam and that is holding that humidity in that room and overall as an end result just doing one of these will prevent ice from building up and causing problems in the future so maybe you don't have that problem and after some inspection on your Uh, on the window you find gaps or cracks somewhere in the area this could be treated as simple as sealing it with caulk to keep the air out just keep in mind this is going to be temporary and caulk is pretty easy to apply as well as remove could be because you can re remove this in the springtime when the weather warms up and take the necessary action that you can uh, Another temporary solution that can be done once you find that cause is you can apply a thermoplastic sheeting or some type of other barrier over the windows themselves. This will help control the icing issue because this will keep humid air in the house and away from the window that has the, the issue. I have also read some articles and seen this in homes that, as well uh, putting some type of you know towel or cloth over the cracks uh, to absorb absorb some of that moisture or maybe even a space heater near windows to uh, keep it from happening I, again I just want to reiterate none of these are permanent solutions these are just temporary to get you through the cold weather until the springtime uh, you know, while they might help avoid some of the damage, these are just temporary until you can find a permanent solution 
when warmer weather presents itself. And finally, that is going to bring us to number three on the list, and that is fixing the problem. So you've done one or all of the solutions that we've discussed uh, to get you through winter, this spring weather is starting to hit, warm up, daylight a little bit longer, so you have a little bit more time to work. And the only way to truly fix the problem permanently that you have with the icing issue is repair repair the problem. And this could be in a, a few different forms. Uh, first one is making repair to the window frame itself. You know, if the glass is intact, could be just an issue with the frame and not, not the window. Now on the other side of that, if the frame checks out, but there is a noticeable crack or broken glass, that is a little more obvious and it may be a little bit more simple to replace the glass in the frame. Uh, but again, you need to make sure that the frame is un, undamaged. Depending on the age of the glass as well as the frame, might end up or be better off replacing the entire window itself. And just because you found damage to the glass and not the frame, you doesn't mean that you have found the issue. Uh, you know, there could be some gaps or damage to the frame that you're not able to see, you know, either underneath the window, on the sides. I would personally recommend replacing both the window and and the frames typically when this is done they come with some type of warranty either with the window or with the labor and this is the best overall solution in my opinion if this is happening is fixing or replacing the window and frame itself just as as a unit um, that's what i'm going to be doing i bought the window to bought a new window to replace mine personally and now I'm just waiting for temperatures to be a little warmer than they are now so it can be done. So that's it. Those are uh, three causes of ice forming on side the windows. Again, number one, the actual ice itself is a result of moisture condensing on the glass. And then because there is some type of breach in the barrier, it is freezing on the inside of your window, which is not supposed to happen. Finding the root cause is number two. Again, it's pretty pretty easy to spot if it is a broken or cracked piece of glass. However, if that's not the case, you may have to do some looking and inspecting with a flashlight. You know, look at all the grooves, see if there's any type of cracks or damage, not just on the outside or on the inside, but on the outside as well. Um, in my situation, I had to get on a 20 foot ladder because this was on the the upstairs bathroom window and that's how I was able to find out that it's damaged. And then finally number three fixing the problem we we covered a number of solutions in this they are all temporary until you can actually fix the underlying issue itself whether that is replacing the window frame replacing the glass or putting in a new window and frame that way you know that it is taken care of no issues whatsoever uh, so that's it that is going to wrap it up for me today in the hot list thank you guys so much for tuning in i have included links to apple podcast and spotify that's where people are finding the hot list the most so if you've missed out on previous episodes make sure that you go get caught up on those and uh, subscribe while you're there, don't forget to leave me a re review. I greatly appreciate it. Not only helps out the channel, but it gets it in front of more people. And that's a way for me to help and give back is by answering your questions and then putting them out there for everybody to listen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, I'm your host, Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Realty. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with the veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.